Whenever we plan an add-on, we always want to take the player somewhere new, a new place with new stories and new experiences. Far Harbor is the largest landmass we've ever made for an add-on. It's a high-level area full of mystery and danger and a new conflict between the townspeople, the children of Adam, and the synths. So we decided to go to Maine, mostly because we wanted to extend the sort of New England feel that we had in Fallout, but take a place that was more rugged and like a harsher terrain and then build on that, make something that was sort of a feral experience. Most of the town is actually destroyed and the inhabitants live on the very edge of the town on a dock. So you first arrive to this island and it's a huge island, you're not sure where to go and you're pointed to old Longfellow who's this salty fisherman you meet in an inn. This is now your guide to the island. I got better things to do than guide fools to the death. When we looked at making the people who live in Far Harbor, we thought about how would people survive in this horrible irradiated mist. And we knew before all this would have happened, they would have been fishermen. They survived up here on their own and could take care of themselves. So that's sort of reflected in their clothing and then the armor that they wear. They have large meat hooks for melee weapons and we added a harpoon gun that's really powerful and does a lot of damage. We added a new lever action hunting rifle. It's very powerful and has a really cool rate of fire. We added a whole new combat armor at the very top level called the Marine Combat Armor. It's the best armor you can get short of wearing the power armor. So we focused on looking at some of the, the natural creatures and what would become of them as they evolve in this wilderness. So we added something called the Gulper, this sort of mutated salamander creature. We have the angler who's through his physiology, absorbs the fog and then spits it at the player in flaming fireballs. We also have a fog crawler. It's sort of like a really large mutated mirelurk. And we added a lot of new creatures like this that would fit in the e ecology of this new location. One of the big things we wanted to explore with Synths in Far Harbor is this idea of what does it mean if I think I've replaced someone? I could be a human being, I could be a synth, all of these feelings could be genuine or they could all be a lie that someone else has put into my head and I'm just carrying out some unknown purpose. We really like the experience of the glowing sea in the base game. Huge irradiated landscape, high level area. You find the Children of Adam there as well. We wanted to go into the question of who are they really? What brings someone into a cult with a belief that the atomic bomb is somehow a great thing? When we were planning Far Harbor, we knew we wanted there to be a lot of different endings or, or different, different ways of resolving the conflicts between the groups. And that each group would have a conflict, not only one that, a conflict that encompasses the whole island, but different conflicts within the groups themselves. We hope you enjoy Far Harbor and we can't wait to see what you discover and what choices you'll make.